Today I fucked up by comparing my pregnant wife to beef brisket. This happened 5 minutes ago, still laughing about it. My wife is 8 months pregnant. We're at the point where moving is getting more difficult and bending over is almost impossible. All in all she's been in great spirits so far, but today I crushed those spirits in one fell swoop. Earlier in the day the wife and I went to the local farmer's market to get some groceries. While we were there we went to the local meat vendor to get some chicken and other stuff for dinner. I noticed they had beef brisket available, so I requested a pound or two of brisket. The vendor promptly apologized as he didn't have any quantities of brisket smaller than 7 pounds. He explained there had been a mix up at the butcher and instead of cutting the brisket portions into thirds he had sent full portions this week. No big deal. We got some other meats and away we went. Fast forward to this evening and the wife and I are getting ready for bed. Decide to hop in the shower because today was particularly muggy and sweaty. So there we are in the shower and my mind wanders to the brisket for some reason. I absentmindedly say we'll have to go back to the farmer's market next week and see if they have smaller portions of brisket. My wife innocently asks me how big is a 7 pound brisket anyway. Me, in my infinite stupidity, takes a step back and starts start eyeballing and measuring my very pregnant wife with my hands outstretched, trying to figure out which part of her body most resembles a 7 pound brisket. As the horror sweeps over her face I realize my f up. She yells at me were you just going to compare me to beef brisket? Dot. Burst out laughing and thankfully she does too. I don't know if it was shower water on her face or tears as we both stood there laughing. But holy shit I'm an idiot. Not sure if she's going to let me live this one down. Too long didn't read, had a brain fart and compared my very pregnant wife to a 7 pound beef brisket. The baby. The baby is about 7 pounds. Yes, if you are brave enough, the baby can be a brisket. Sounds like she has a good sense of humor, at least. Speaking as a currently pregnant, irrationally hormonal woman, I assume you know how lucky you are that you caught the right mood. That could have ended several different ways. Close call, but lol. God I know that's right. I was so incredibly incredibly happy for most of my pregnancy. However there was this one time that I didn't get a packet of strawberry jelly with my sausage biscuit from Burger King and I shit you not the crazy crying meltdown that erupted from my pregnant ass was ridiculous. In those moments I could have pulled over that Burger King to the ground without a walk and thought. Those hormones are not to be tested or played with lol. Sounds like your baby just got its first nickname. It's cool. My pregnant wife is unofficially the burrito to our baby Chalupa. Baby has apparently been craving Mexican food twice a week, or more. Today I fucked up by setting my boyfriend's penis on fire. Last night, my boyfriend and I made dinner for ourselves as usual, and I was in charge of chopping all the veggies while he manned the bacon. This is important because included in those veggies were two jalapenos, which got their spicy juices all over my fingers and under my nails. Fast forward through dinner, it was delicious BTW, and BF and I are cuddling on the love sack and starting to get a little bit frisky. I'm on my period and didn't really want to deal with how messy that would be, so I thought to myself I'm gonna suck this boy's dick so good right now to show him how much I love and appreciate him. He was obviously very excited by this. So we move to the bed, I start getting into it, and I notice that my lips are starting to get a little warm. That's when I remembered that I forgot to wash my hands after handling the jalapenos for dinner. I explain this to my boyfriend, kind of laughing at this point, and he says he can feel it a little bit but that it kind of felt nice. I shrug and keep going like an idiot, playing with fire and my boyfriend's penis. The foreshadowing is so good here. My high school English teacher should use this as a lesson. Anyway, I start getting really into it and it's getting a hem slobbery, which of course makes the spiciness on my lips worse, so I get up to wash my hands and face before it gets too bad for my boyfriend and his precious peen. As I'm washing my hands, my boyfriend suddenly yells in pain from the bedroom. I look back at him and he is braced tightly against the pain of jalapeno flames engulfing his pee pee. Fuck. He runs into the bathroom with a look of pain in his eyes that I have never seen before, frantically searching for something to put an end to his nightmare. I run the washcloth under cold water and wrap it around his penis. This works for 
a second, but the jalapeno is too strong. Then I have an idea. What if we dunk your penis in a glass of milk? Silence. Yes. So I run into the kitchen, laughing harder than I should have been because this bow today I fucked up. Amazing man is dying of jalapeno penis by my hand, pour a glass of milk, and wait for him to walk out with the most dejected and pained look on his face. Then the man that I love, respect, and admire more than anyone else in this world took the glass of milk from my hand, and stuck his penis in it. I tried to contain my giggles but I couldn't, it was just too ridiculous to watch. I had to step away to attempt to compose myself as I watched him squat down and dangle his dick in a glass of milk. Lord help me, but I couldn't fucking handle it. Too long didn't read, cut some jalapenos and forgot to wash my hands, went down on my boyfriend, got jalapeno spit all over his pee pee, he stuck his dick in a glass of milk to stop the burning. When I was in basic we got pepper sprayed. Hello recruit didn't listen to aftercare instructions, got right into a shower. The residual spray gets reactivated with water and the water naturally washed it all the way down his body to his ole willy. Safe to say he was screaming in pain for about an hour. Oh god I can't even imagine. He almost got in the shower but we were both afraid it would just make it worse. Oh my god this is a nightmare. I can't even imagine that level of pain. Thankfully it wasn't a stronger pepper. Think he would agree with you. Boyfriend here. This was my least favorite blow job ever. One tenth would not recommend. Or she just wanted to spice things up. Not that I don't love a good spicy genitalia story, but I'm waiting for the story where this title means actual literal fire. I was very very disappointed when I saw jalapeno and no fire. Three tenths very disappointed. Today I fucked up by not realizing I was staring at someone's breasts. I work as a table games dealer in a tribal casino that's still open during the pandemic. In order to stay as safe as possible the casino has put up plexiglass barriers on all the tables between the dealer and the players with enough room under for the players to place bets and pick up cards. I've recently realized that on certain games, Pegao, 3 card poker, pitch black jack, I can see the reflection of players cards in their hands on the plexiglass. I've been using this information to entertain my players by telling them I can guess their hands based purely on their eyes expression. Everyone's wearing masks for covid, it's all for entertainment purposes and there is no cheating involved. Most of my player get a kick out of it. One player did not. A young lady in her 30s in a slightly revealing top sits in the only open spot on my peg out table. I deal the cards, and start looking around at the player's hands. Her first hand is a full house, three aces and a pair of nines. Without realizing that looking at the reflection of the plexiglass puts my eyes in direct line of sight to her chest, I look at her, point at her cards, give a big thumbs up and say very nice. She had misunderstood my comment of her cards as a comment about her chest and started to flip out. I didn't realize what was going on for a second. My floor came over wondering what was going on. The player told my floor I was being perverted and a pig. I was honestly confused because I hadn't realized what had happened. My floor, who really doesn't like me, started asking the player what happened before asking me. The player said I was ogling her tits, her words, and making obscene seen comments. The floor was highly surprised by the accusation, mainly because everyone knows I'm a married man and I don't generally make comments about women's appearances. Whole time she's talking to my floor, she has her cards face down on the table. She doesn't know that I know what's in her hand. She's talking about me needing to be fired and that she wanted to talk to the top manager in my department. My floor goes to the phone to call the pit boss, without asking for my side of the story. While the floor is at the phone, I first apologize, then I explain to the lady I was complimenting her on her full house. She gets a confused look in her eyes. I say I was commenting on your hand. You have three aces and two nines. She asks me how I know what her hand is. I explain that I can see her cards in the reflection of the plexiglass. I even tell her the guy on last spot has a pay gow. He flips his hand over and shows that he does indeed have a pay gow. Pay gow means no pair in hand. She gets quiet for a second, 
then apologizes for accusing me of being inappropriate. The floor comes over and tells her the pit boss is on his way. Lady says it was all a misunderstanding and stands up from the game after I finish paying everyone. I get off the game, explain to the pit boss what happened, and he just laughs it off. The floor however, hasn't heard my explanation, nor knew what really happened. This morning I've received three different texts from co-workers about the incident. The floor has apparently told a bunch of our co-workers that I complimented a lady's chest, and now my department thinks I'm a pervert. Too long didn't read, was falsely accused of staring at a woman's chest, now my entire department at work thinks I'm a pervert. I think you should have a meeting with your floor and pit boss requesting the floor boss to walk back what they said to the other employees. Spreading that rumor around the floor is damaging to the team and your working relationship with them. Female workers will likely be more hesitant or frightened to work with you and that rumor that you're a perv may persist through to new generations of employees as long as you work there. I suggest nipping thus in the bud as soon as possible. Honestly I've been working on that all morning. I'm in a large department but I've already explained to Aber 20 people what actually happened so I'm expecting that to spread also. So I'm generally ignorant of the etiquette regarding gaming so forgive me. But is it considered cheating or unethical to signal a player that they've got a good hand? Especially when you noted that the other player didn't have shit. They are playing against the house. We don't allow players to share info with each other but a player can show me their hand and ask for help if they wish. So knowing what they have beforehand won't change any outcomes. You'll get your award eventually when all the official Redditors come. I'm not sure what that means. Not your fuck up, it was Ms. Tits and your floor. If the plexiglass is between you and the player and the player holds the cards facing them, how can you see what cards they're holding? Is there more plexiglass behind them? They are holding the cards on my side of the plexiglass. If they hold them high enough, I can see the reflection.